What's up people, welcome back to another explanation video. This time I'm gonna go over maze, things to know. That being said, let's do this. Okay, as usual, I'm gonna go over the weapons itself first. So from if you're early game, going through a normal way, the silencer will be a good one from the north, normal. The ones from the west, it's, it's called a black star. That one has strength and dex. The only difference is that the one from the north does not have accuracy, or specifically dex. Um, so you just have to watch out if you want to use that. However, it is better because maze use mainly strength and vitality, so that will be a good one to pick it up if you don't worry about the accuracy that much. Other than that, the one from the west will be a good choice as well, since it has dex on it. So that's pretty much um, the two good maze that you can have really early round. It's just to get the one from the uh, normal raid. Like, I know there's like blacksmith and stuff. There's no point using blacksmith, etc. Because you have so, like better options from the normal raids. So uh, that's why I always start with the normal raids. The next one is extreme version of the maze. It's called Demon Slayer. Not the not not the not the uh, not the show, <laughs> but the weapon. Um, it is actually a really good maze to have for, um, like I say, for like if you want to get something that's an upgrade, you know, so uh, from the normal raid. That thing, I think that thing drops quite often, so a lot of the time I'll be getting maze from the uh, extreme raids. It's always good to get the uh, four stats, as usual, dex, it's good. However, the vitality can be useful. Um, it's really it comes down to how much accuracy you need. Otherwise, yeah, going going for the going for the adjustment is perfect for the maze. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, Divine Beast for level four hundred Divine Beast version for the maze, the Glow Worm. So this thing is actually really really powerful. So the stats goes up extremely high. String goes up to 85, I think. Vitality, I think I've seen in like 60s. So Dex, as usual, 50 is the max based. Um, it has some passives, etc. So get some accuracy and the other one. Can't remember in my back of my head. As usual, there's too many items. It's hard to memorize all of them. So. This maze is actually not a, not really terrible to farm because the Void Spear is actually the easiest um, level 400 Divine Beast out of any of them. So he should be pretty straightforward if you can kill it. Like even without extreme gear, like I have like OV, like man, not OV, a couple months ago, I have videos that I've been there with non XT or. Yeah, with a DAC, I, I think I did beat it with XT gear, but like, yeah, somehow you, you still need to get somewhat of XT gear to beat it. So it's not extremely terrible to fight him compared to other, you know, Divine Beast. He's much, much easier. So that's why I say, if you want, if you're a Maze user, try to go for that one, if it's possible. And that Maze goes up really high for the stats and it's extremely powerful okay so there are eight sword skills um, as usual for majority of the weapon excluded bow other than that yeah double clear is good that's my go-to dps since you can get to a level two and it does hit pretty hard just have to remember when you get to level two um, this one you don't need to hit an enemy to reach level two to get three stars so you can hit you can hit like you don't have to hit anything just to get that. Uh, the Admiral, Admiration, it's really good. Um, but the problem is a lot of the, the maze skill here that I'm talking about, they all have buffs. This is the only problem with the maze is that like it, it, it has buffs. So majority of the time, if you're running builds, for to kill some higher end enemies, you want to use some of the buffs, not from the maze, from your character. I mean, from yeah, from your character AI buffs. So when the maze 
buffs kick in, it's gonna over buff you. That's the problem. Like, a lot of time for fighting some higher end enemies, you definitely want more buffs. But Maze overrun that stuff. So it's not really, it's not really, you know, like good. But the thing is, if you don't use um, 20, 20 buffs or somewhere close, you don't have to worry about it too much. It does have like, each sword skill does have somewhat of buff. So that's the only problem with the maze, is that it will buff you. So I honestly don't like any of these buffs. But sword skill wise, the four that I usually use are the four that I actually equip. So other than that, yeah. Uh, some people might use other other ones. Um, it's your choice, like I said. Um, they're all really, really decent. Otherwise, I there's not much to talk about Mace as much. It is pretty cool. I did use a few of them. Like it's just not, it's just not really like good skill connect. I usually pick the ones that are much, much easier to do skill connect and hazard, etc. Like our strike is really good for hazard, even though it's only one hit. But you can kind of, you can kind of use that, you know, spam quite a bit. Um, yeah, other than that, not so much for the sword skills. Are obviously the EX one will be your main DPS. Now I'm gonna move on to the customization. Now the maze use a lot of strength and vitality. So like even though it uses a lot of vitality, but the thing it is still really hard to customize vitality stuff. That's the only problem. So I mainly just focus on the strength. Strength will be good. Um, for example, like the armor, like I say, the abyssal steel arm XT steel armor will be good. Um, other than that, just look for anything that has strength on it. Like uh, black light will be okay as well. Like I said, normal steel armor will be good if you're early in the game. The arachna armor will be really good as well if you want to use that. It gives quite a bit of strength, but other than that, not so much. You mainly really want to look for the strength. So anything with a strength, it's fine. Um, by this time, like I explained it every, if you watch every single one of the uh, things to know, you'll pretty much know what to have on there. Um, like I say, anything with a strength, a Abyssal Gauntlet is good. Um, if you had like the XT version, get that one as well. It could be useful, but the XT glove of Inquisition is much better. Strength and Vitality is perfect for the maze, like I said, but you'll get quite a bit more from like the vitality side this time. So any accessory that has like super high strength and vitality, it'll be fine. The only like, it's always hard to customize vitality because we don't have a lot of vitality gears in this game that's considered good because all, almost all the time you want to pair it up with like strength or something else. Like if you only go for that single stat, it's not really like, it's not gonna bring out the full, you know, um, potential for that customization or the adjustment. It's, that's why it's a little bit hard to do vitality in this game because we lack quite a bit of items that will boost vitality. Yes, we have like one or two, but that's about it. Most of the time, you'll be just focusing on the strength rather vitality but only if you have some gear like like that glove that i mentioned then you can definitely put that on with a strength and vitality which is fine now hard strike is it's the sword skill i usually either use for hazarding or for four like i say not much change it's the same thing as usual like like i said by this time you pretty much know um most of the same setup that i have for the uh two hazard skill and two DPS, um, either either hazard or four four. Those are really the two options I really go for. Or like for most people, they will probably use two two or two two between two two to four four. Uh, regardless, uh, other than that, it's just hazard skills. So double cleaver will be really good for the second DPS, like I said. But this one uses strength and vitality. It can be set up similar with the. Uh, um, with the EX, however, um, this one uses much, much more strength, so you don't have to worry about vitality as much because strength is gonna be the top focus 
140%. So 40% of vitality isn't that much. It's a lot less. So with this, it's much easier to customize. Then you can pretty much dump all of the uh, focus you know, into strength to max out this sword skill. And yeah, like I say, strength is the easiest to customize in this game so far. So you know what to do. Okay, last thing. How good is the maze in this game? Maze is it's pretty good. It's just I don't like the buffs. Each sword skill has pretty much buffs. So like I said, it's going to buff you. If you're using four sword skill, you're going to get four buffs. It's bad because like I said, for people who want to use these weapons for higher end, you're going to get over buffs because sometimes you really need that um, buffs my own buffs not the maze because like the enemies are very strong at that point you'll have to rely on the buffs but the maze it, it has it has its own buffs that's why i don't use maze for the higher end too much like arena is fine because i'll take any buffs because <laughs> it's not gonna hurt me as much um outside of the arena it's kind of hard um if you're fighting something that you can you can do it without like a lot of buffs then maze will be a good choice you know feel free to use that that's not a big deal um other than that maze is pretty powerful maze can kill a lot of stuff so don't underestimate the maze maze is powerful um it's just that yes it's slow but not as slow as katana like i said not as slow as katana so you can you can actually Use this thing to kill more things than Katana. Um, other than that, yeah. Like I said, Mace is good. The buff, it's bad. That's the only problem. Sometimes, sometimes the buff is good. It just depends what you're doing. It's not all the time where the buff will be terrible. But a lot of the time when you go to a, like level 400, like I mentioned, it's bad. That's the only problem that I have with Mace. is that over buff. Other than that, you know, it's a good weapon, solid. So, yeah. All right, people, that's about it. Mace is pretty straightforward. It is a little bit, um, the, the sword skill, it, it, it is, it seems like there's a lot in the sword skill, but the thing is, it, there isn't. Like there is some talk about, but a lot of time, most of the sword skill that will over buff you. <laughs> that's the problem, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time.